Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to the Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod 2.2 Tournament Robotic Champions Losers Bracket for the second part of the pre preliminaries. Uh, I don't know if I can show you on the sheet unless I scan it, but it's basically the other side of the board, uh, the other four losers from the preliminary bracket. So that's going to be these guys on... Oh, it's it's too confusing. <laughs> just know that I do the I do all the work so that you don't have to. You're just here for the entertainment. You don't care about the specs. But we've got some interesting matches for you today. It's going to be the four losers from the second part of the preliminaries: Team Dragons Ninja Assassin, Team North Polar's Tip of the Iceberg, Team Prehistoric's Roly Poly. And Team Blackstorm's Bot 205 in a 4 versus 4 free for all. Then on the other side of the board, since obviously in a 16-man tournament, the loser makes the lose the winner of the overall tournament makes the losers bracket an uneven matchup because out of 16 people, 15 of them lost, meaning one was the winner. So the last match is Team Hex's Grim Chopper, Team Megaton's Poison Stinger, and Team Steel Yard Dog's Mangy Mutt in a three-way free-for-all, which is a combination of the semifinals and finals of the loser's bracket. So we'll get right along with those, with that uh, four-way match and three-way match, and the winners, the winner of those will go on to face Broke, Stingray 2, and the win I, I wish I could show you, I wish I could show you. I'll, I'll take a screenshot at the very end of it when it's all done. Or, heck, maybe I'll even upload it to, uh, to Facebook or Twitter so that someone can understand my, my way. But I, 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 I swear to you, it's all accurate. But without further ado, let's get on with the match and see what these bots are capable of. Enter the Woo, here we go! Watch out for falling I can't wait to see this one. And of course, the winner of the loser's bracket, overall, will go up to face 360 Arc Pounder in a best 2 out of 3 matches. That way, it'll be long enough to actually create into an entire video. I love this, I want my entire channel to be well known for tournaments, and let's get it on! All right, whoa, we've got <laughs> Ninja Assassin goes straight for Bot 205, but Bot 205 easily taking the advantage here. Tip of the Iceberg getting pushed around by Roly Poly, but Tip of the Iceberg's got that shovel to help him out against uh, Roly Poly's main weapons. Ninja Assassin's already on his backside. Bot 205's dealing massive damage to Roly Poly. Roly Poly's not out yet, though, or is he? Let me press tab real quick and get the camera out of my way. Tip of the Iceberg's at 9.05. Ninja Assassin's at 6.93. Roly Poly was knocked out. I only saw one one electrical hit against him. And Bot 205 is just taking it to everybody, grinding them to bits right now. Tip of the Iceberg's getting hit out. He's done. Ninja Assassin's up next. Woo! And the runner-up is just showing everybody that he wants a second chance more than anybody could have guessed. Bot 205 just eliminates the competition. Whew, that's a lot of points. With 14,173 compared to everyone else who is unbelievably trailing. I think it's safe to say he's a little bit salty about that second place spot. Well, I'll get that written down and or I'll get the next matches set up for the three-way and we'll be right back. And we're back, folks. Now, this one, since it's an uneven number of com opponents, since we already have a winner, it's an uneven number of opponents, so we can't do 16, we gotta do 15. Uh, I'm rambling on again. This one's gonna be a three-way free-for-all. Team Hex's Grim Chopper. Team Megaton's Poison Stinger. Team Steel Yard Dog's Mangy Mutt. And the winner of this will go up against Team Sparks Broke, Team Blackstorm's Bot 205, Team The Rookie's Stingray 2. And the winner of that 4 for all, that last 4 for all, will face you know who in the finals to try to win back the I mean, it makes sense because this way I like it. He has to defend the title. Bot 360 Arc Pounder. Oh boy. 
<laughs> so you know, it, it, I, I love it. It makes sense. I'm adding a additional like um, factor to the tournament. You know, it. You know, you don't just have a champion. The champion's got to prove himself and defend his title at least one time. So here we go. Let's see what these bots are all about. Welcome to the parking lot. Ooh, if I had we to give anybody this match, this I'd have to give it to. Poison Stinger. He 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 deals massive amounts of damage, and I don't think any of these bots have the weapons necessary to take off his um, spikes like Arc Pounder did. Arc Pounder took off his spikes, that gave him the win. I'm giving it to Poison Stinger. Let's see what's going on. We've got woo, Mangy Mutt going straight for Grim Chopper. Oh my goodness. Poison Stinger scoring a heavy hit against Meiji Mutt. Looks like he's going against the back tire of Grim Chopper there. He's tearing up the sidewall and he's going to get some massive chassis damage there and rack up some serious points. Then he might just be able to go up to Meiji Mutt and finish him off. Looks like the two are stuck. Meiji Mutt's going to give him a push. Grim Chopper already at 3,000, 4,100, scoring those heavy hits against Poison Stinger. Poison Stinger doing his best to stay on the good side of Grim Chopper and not get taken out. Poison Stinger at almost 9,000 points now. Just crossing 9,000. Grim Chopper keeping up. Dealing more damage. Ooh! Dealing more damage in single hits, but I guess you could call Poison Stinger a, uh, what do you call it? An ad type. Uh, damage over time. DOT. A dot. <laughs> He's a dot type. He's got the ad damage. Grim Chopper's definitely a berserker with his axe chopping. What was that that just flew off into the corner there? And there's one of Poison Stinger's stingers right there in the corner. Looks like Grim Chopper finally managed to eliminate one. Actually, no, it looks like he's missing two, the top two. Where is that three? He's got a weapons malfunction there as Meiji Mutt just sort of picks off the stragglers. Whoo, Grim Chopper with a, an astounding 10,000. Poison Stinger with 11,000. Poison Stinger. Grim Chopper. Man, back and forth, back and forth. I don't know who's going to catch up first. We might have some cinder blocks coming down if those two aren't careful over there. Looks like Meiji Mutt's going to try to rank, line them up in there. Meiji Mutt with only... Oh, and he gets everybody in there. Looks like Poison Stinger has taken a lot of chassis damage and so is Grim Chopper. If Menji Mutt can just manage to hold on, maybe they'll take each other out. Oh! And Menji Mutt... Oh! Menji Mutt pushes, pushes Poison Stinger off into the corner. And Grim Chopper off into the corner. Menji Mutt's getting... Uh, poison Stinger counted out. He, he has no way of self-riding. And, and there he goes! And the only other contender with more points than Meiji Mutt is now pushed into the exact same corner. <laughs> Go Meiji Mutt! Go underdog! Literally, the underdog! <laughs> As he pushes Grim Chopper into a corner here. Oh, with only 16 seconds left. If it goes under 10, he won't have enough time for the count out. Can he make it? No, he's not gonna make it. Oh, poor Meiji Mutt. And Grim Chopper knows he's got the win now. I, I don't think... I don't think... Um, Meiji Mutt can know his only hope after that, after 10 seconds, was to score enough points to uh, for a uh, TKO. Whoo, what a match. Oh my goodness, and look at the closeness of those points. 12,934 to 12,412. I... <laughs> if Meiji Mutt hadn't have pushed Poison Stinger into the corner and had him counted out, I don't know where that would have went. Wow. And um, if we've got enough time... Um, do I have enough time for the 4v4? Who? I, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to check on the recording. Who? I think, I think it would be better to do the 4v4 and then have the winner of that face the champ in a best 2 out of 3. That way we can at least get a decent amount of time in the recording. Wow, what a great match. I mean, I, I want to end it off there. So I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you have any suggestions for future shows or episodes, let me know in the comments section below. Let me know what you thought of this tournament and any of the future tournaments in the comments section. 
Thank you all so much for joining me. There's plenty more to come as I learn more and do more with my channel, and it's just good, fun stuff. And until next time, you take it easy, my friends.